participating in the Department of Agriculture's nat National School Lunch Program only have access to fat-free and low-fat milk. But a bill in Washington could bring whole and 2% milk back to the cafeteria. WENY Washington correspondent Brendan Scanlon has more on the Whole Milk for Healthy Kids Act. In 2010, Congress passed the Healthy Hunger Free Kids Act, which eliminated whole and 2% milk from many schools. The bill did not adhere to science-based nutritional facts regarding milk. Bailey Fisher with the Pennsylvania Farm Bureau says the legislation not only hurt dairy farmers, but also students. She says for more than a decade, students have been missing out on the nutritional benefits from the milk. Strong bone density, a healthier immune system, reducing cardiovascular risk, lowering blood pressure, reducing type 2 diabetes. Whole milk, which has a fat content of just over 3%, was eliminated as a tool to fight childhood obesity. But as obesity rates rise, Fisher says the milk was never the problem. It reduces hunger cravings. So if a child or a student were to drink whole milk and get filled up on that, rather than going and grabbing the cookie or the bag of chips, obviously that is the better and more nutritious option. The rate of obesity and being overweight increased dramatically after access to whole milk and flavor was taken out of the schools. Earlier this month, the House passed Congressman Glenn Thompson's Whole Milk for Healthy Kids Act. It's just a terrible taste experience when you're drinking non-fat, uh, low-fat or non-fat milk. The bill permits schools to offer students whole and reduced fat, flavored and unflavored milk, in addition to low fat and fat free. Our members were saying, like, we've waited a decade for this vote. We want to get this across the finish line because they've seen the impact. The bill now heads to the Senate for consideration. Reporting in Washington, Brendan Scanland, WENY News.